Mana the digital token of the self-proclaimed metaverse platform is used to transact to buy, sell or do both in virtual properties. This cryptocurrency was rare in existence when it came to investors and the crypto world but came to the spotlight over the weekend. This sudden rise made the coin reach its all-time high and the market gained more confidence as they took Facebook's identity change as a sign of recognition and acceptance. Cryptocurrency and technology investors jumped to the ship as they foresaw this increase in interest of this metaverse trend, and the digital currency has been soaring since. Admittedly, this is not your traditional investment opportunity. But investors shouldn't be too quick to write to Central and off. Online gaming is big business. Huge in fact. Minecraft, for example, another sandbox-style platform has over 140 million users and generated $415M in revenue in 2020. Platforms like Fortnite and Second Life have even played host to celebrity events, and they are only growing in popularity. Decentraland's native cryptocurrency, Mana, is used to pay for goods and services on the network and within the digital world. Its ICO was notable for its success when it was launched in 2017, raising over $24 million in just 35 seconds. Since then, it has seen some impressive price runs and has become a popular punt option for many crypto investors. But does Decentraland really have any legs as an investment asset? In the following Decentraland price prediction we'll look at reasons why you might want to add this unlikely candidate to your portfolio. What's next? Decentraland price predictions for 2025. It's probably fairly obvious at this stage that much of Decentraland's potential as an investment opportunity is dependent on how popular the platform becomes and whether a blockchain virtual environment offers something that those hosted by traditional developers do not. As such, coming up with a Decentraland price prediction presents an unusual challenge. One of the best ways to come up with a reliable forecast for Decentraland is to consider the predictions of several market analysts. Digital coin prices Decentraland forecast offers a mixed picture. Whilst the MANA token is expected to grow over the coming years, exceeding $20 by 2025, that growth is expected to stall somewhat in 2023. When Decentraland is expected to experience short downturns in August and October, sending it from an average price of around $16 down below $14. Elsewhere, Wallet Inspector has been much more optimistic with its Decentraland price prediction for 2025. It has Mana reaching a potential high of $15 before the end of 2021 and continuing to climb over the coming years. By the end of 2023, the platform predicts that the token will soar past the $30 mark and by 2025 Mana will be trading at a potential high of $50. On the other hand, Trading Beasts is expecting much slower growth from Decentraland. According to its technical analysis, Mana will hit the $30 mark in 2022 followed by a period of stagnation. That will see prices cool over the rest of the year. However, by 2023 things will be moving upwards again and Decentraland is expected to be trading at around $60 heading into 2025. Looking further ahead, Decentraland price predictions for 2030. Blockchain and video gaming have to be two of the fastest moving industries in existence, so making a long-term price prediction for something like Decentraland may seem a little futile. However, looking at Decentraland price predictions for 2030 at least tell us about what analysts currently think about the project's long-term potential. Digital coin price, for example, predicts that Decentraland Mana will continue to grow well beyond 2025, reaching $80 by mid-2026 and potentially reaching as high as $100 in 2028 which would equate to growth of around 10,000% on today's price. Another long-term Decentraland forecast can be found at cryptocurrency price prediction. According to its technical analysis, Mana will have soared past $10 by the end of 2021 and will continue growing at a substantial rate over the next 10 years. By 2030, the platform believes that Decentraland will be valued at $70. A cryptocurrency research firm by the name of Crypto Research Report is calling for Decentraland to reach $45 by 2025 and $120 by 2030. Will Decentraland become overpopulated? As we've discussed, Decentraland leverages NFTs to provide a virtual world which users can genuinely own a part of, setting up their own house, garden and even an entire district, assuming they have the funds. However, this raises certain issues when it comes to the ongoing appeal of mana. We are of course, referring to the issue of land and scarcity. Plots of land in Decentraland would be worth very little if there was an unlimited supply. But the virtual world is a finite space, which means plots will, in theory, appreciate in value. However, this means that, 
if the project proves to be successful. The average gamer will be quickly priced out of the Decentraland real estate market. This then begs the question, what will users need mana for, if not to acquire land? The answer lies in avatars. As with Fortnite, users can buy clothes for their virtual character, customize its appearance and even buy weapons. According to co-founder Ari Malik, the long tail of players is probably unable to buy plots of land that sell for hundreds of dollars. Ultimately, I believe avatar accessories, such as clothes and weapons, will represent a larger share of the economy because these items will be accessible to all players. And looking at how games like Roblox or Fortnite make money, with avatar skins, I think we will see the same for Decentraland. So it seems that the team behind Decentraland have considered the scalability of their virtual world. Conclusion should you invest in Decentraland. Decentraland is certainly an interesting prospect. Online gaming is a huge industry and the idea of virtual communities remains as popular as ever. Whilst it may fall outside of the traditional scope of most investors, it is certainly worth taking the time research the wider gaming market to get an idea of just how big Decentraland could one day become. Of course, Decentraland's future success depends entirely on the platform's ability to grow and maintain popularity. But considering the speed in which the likes of Fortnite and Minecraft have gone from niche video games to many industries in their own right, it is perfectly plausible that Decentraland could suddenly take off, with its native cryptocurrency following suit. As far as the virtual world of Decentraland goes, there's certainly a lot of potential there and the games developed within the game world will also continue to grow in their sophistication. Then there's the potential of virtual reality to consider. So should you invest in Decentraland? The answer as always, depends on your own investment goals. There's no denying that acquiring a large holding of mana comes with a fairly high amount of risk, but it's also worth noting that the token has a very low trading price, so it could certainly be worth taking a punt on. Is now a good time to invest in Decentraland? Online gaming is big business, and if Decentraland starts to take off then prices could climb steeply. As such, those looking to take a chance on mana might wish to add it to their portfolio sooner rather than later. How does Decentraland work? Underpinning the whole Decentraland infrastructure is another token, land. Essentially, these are NFTs, ERC-20 tokens that represent plots of land in the Decentraland universe. These plots are divided into parcels, each measuring 16 meters by 16 meters, with one land token representing a particular parcel on the map. As NFTs cannot be replicated, this means that the holder of the token owns that piece of land for all intents and purposes. It's even possible to stack tokens via the ELA ND Estates feature and acquire larger plots of land in Decentraland. Similar groupings on land can also be grouped together to create districts, which are effectively communities in Decentraland that have a kind of shared theme. Those holding land in that particular district can then vote on certain issues relating to the area via the voting D app, Agora. Land can be purchased using mana which can be acquired in much the same way as any other cryptocurrency. 